Good morning, children. It's so good to see you in church. It's so good to see you online. God bless you as you watch with us. Happy Easter! This morning is one of the best days of the church. It's Easter Sunday. It's the Resurrection Sunday. We do not worship on Saturday. We worship on Sunday because Jesus Christ, our Lord, rose up from the dead on Easter morning, on Sunday morning. And therefore, Sunday is a very, very special time. Every Sunday for us Christians is Easter Sunday. It's Resurrection Sunday. Very, very special. Our scripture today is in Acts chapter 10. Peter, the apostle, is visiting the house of Cornelius, a Roman soldier who was the leader of a battalion there, but enemies of Israel. And yet God sent Peter to the house of Cornelius. Cornelius is Gentile. He fears God. He loves God. He honors God. Peter told Cornelius, Jesus was sent by God. He lived. He did good miracles. He healed the sick. Jesus was crucified, died, but he rose again on the third day. And because of that, Jesus is Lord of all. Jesus is Lord of all people, not just the Jews or the Gentiles, all people. Jesus is Lord of all. Peter discovered something, something changed in him. He would never have sat with a Gentile person. He would never have entered a house of a Gentile. He would never have sat at the table with a Gentile. Something changed. He discovered that God has no unfairness, no partiality. God loves all people. And so Peter discovered that his ways of the past, the traditions, the ways of life, of separating from people because they are Gentiles, or they don't different color, different skin tone, uh, tone their ethnicity. Peter discovered God doesn't accept that anymore. God loves all people. So there was a resurrection in Peter too, when he realized things have changed. Jesus has now opened the door of God's grace to all people. So Peter said, I now realize, I now know, there is no partiality with God. There is no unfairness with God. God loves all people. God cares for all people. God welcomes all people. God heals all people. God is concerned for all people everywhere around the world. So children, you may like certain people. Probably some days you feel you dislike other people. I want to let you know today, with God, there is no separation. There is no partiality. God loves all. And so all of us, God's people, we got to love God's people at work, at school, in our neighborhood, in the community, in the church. We must avail ourselves. We must make friends of all people. So. Take that bad habit of disliking some people away. Say it aside. Forget it. Now you are a child of God and they, everybody else, a child of God. Be comfortable in inviting others in your circle. Be courageous in inviting others in your circle. Don't leave others out. You've got to know some, some people have mental illness. Some people have other disabilities. We don't dismiss them. We love them. We extend our arm of fellowship and say, we love you because you are a child of God. What I want you to do, children, today is to change your mindset, the way you see things, and don't dismiss people because of their, the issues they may have. God loves all children, yellow, brown, black, white. God loves all of them. And so you will love them all. The most important thing, children, is that Jesus is Lord of all. He's your Lord, He is your Lord, He is my Lord, He cares for us all. And because of that, we invite all people in our circle of friendships and let them know we love them. Amen.